Okay, so let's talk about welding speed and welding sound. Now, when you're welding, you're gonna have a couple of things going on with your welder. When you squeeze the MIG welder trigger, wire is gonna automatically feed. And the way the voltage is set, it's gonna get the metal to melt at a certain rate. So you'll find that there is a pass-through rate as you're running the MIG welder across the surface that gives you a smooth, consistent bead. And you're going to hear the difference when you're welding. A good weld is going to have a nice uniform sizzle, kind of like a zzzz. And you'll find that if you're too far away, you're going to hear something that starts to sound a little bit like popcorn going pow, pow, pop, pop, pow, pow. And so anytime you're welding, you want to make sure that you're getting a nice, consistent wire feed flow that outputs that bzzz as you're welding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start welding at a specific distance, close, and I'm going to work my way further and further back. And then I'm going to get close again, and you're going to hear it go back to that nice sizzle. So I'll go correct distance, further away, and then back to the correct distance again, and then further away, so you can hear and see the difference during that welding process. Okay, but before I do that, you've got to put the welding shade on the camera. Welding? That's not bad, but what I'm going to do now is turn my wire speed from 55 up to 65, keeping my voltage set to 5, and we're going to do the same process. Okay, so what you can see here is during our welding operation, we had a nice, uniform, consistent bead at the beginning. That's that sizzle. So the interior bead is when we were a little low on our feed rate. We could have sped it up from 55 to 65, depending on the way you weld, you may need to adjust. So here, we were going at the low speed. There's a nice, uniform bead. And as we move further around, you can see that these little pieces here, I'm going to bring them closer to the camera. They're not even attached, okay? So this region here, if I bang it on the table, no bonding, okay? And then this region here, smooth and uniform. So anytime you see that smooth, uniform flow, you know that the rate at which the wire is coming out is good relative to the voltage that you're using and the distance at which your hand is traveling during the weld. So you want to make sure you get this nice, uniform bead that we see right here on the outside perimeter, not the inside. So the inside shows low speed and the outside shows ideal speed with ideal distance and ideal wire feed, okay? Parts over here are too far away, and so that shows that the argon isn't protecting the metal enough. And so when you look really closely,
you can see the metal starting to boil, okay? It's got almost a porous texture to it, and there's bubbling to either side, but what you want is this nice, uniform, smooth bead. So just remember when you're welding, if you start to hear popcorn, that's a reminder for you to get closer. And then if you have to cut your wire, right? If you have to cut your wire, that is a reminder that you also need to get closer. Well, how much closer? I don't know, it depends on how much you cut off. So in this case, we're talking about an inch and a half closer, okay? But every time you cut this wire length, it's about a half inch off your welding surface. So you're running about a half inch above your surface the entire time. And every time you cut the wire, that's a reminder to get a little bit closer.